So just under an hour left on the stream, folks. Just so everyone knows, just under an hour left. Top contributor so far tonight is Phil's Vest. Whoever's the top contributor at the end of the night will get to direct a future Minecraft stream. Um, <clears throat> much like how we're working on a Yoshi egg right now, and then we're going to be working on like a little Greco-Roman kind of a uh, piece of architecture. Um, this, these, oh, it's this asshole. This person will be able to direct uh, more stuff in the future on a Minecraft stream. Whoever's the top contributor tonight, okay? In addition, we hit the tips goal for tonight. I will put on the vest. But we've got a long way to go, so I don't think we're actually going to hit the tips goal tonight. I'm just saying. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Time to invest in the vest. Invest in my vest. Okay, let's go, buddy. Let's go, little buddy. Let's go. <clears throat> Cute cat. <clears throat> okay. Papa versus cats will not take fall damage. You don't have to worry about falls. Be careful of cactus and lava and protruding ledges and water under it. You should just be able to walk and it will teleport to you when you get more than 30 blocks away. Just random things about cats when you tame it and they let it sleep with you. It brings you trophies in the morning. Like what? Like rats? Probably, right? Hello. So, there's the mob grinder. We know exactly where to head. I'm so glad we made it as tall as we did and right there within visual range of our village so we always know what direction to head. Sigmund Freud cheers. says, can you give those milkshakes a good jiggle for the chat? No, that's absolutely disgusting and you're a freak. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, if we have the tips goal, I'll wear the vest. If we raise $200, I'll wear the vest and the cowboy hat. If we raise $1,000 in the next hour on my Minecraft stream, I will hop on one foot and sing Kumbaya while I'm wearing the vest and the cowboy hat. How about that? <laughs> See how stupid this shit is? The thing is, I'm not kidding you. They're like Twitch streamers that this is what happens and this is what they do. And they make the money too. Like, it's insane. Like, why... <laughs> They just pull stunts constantly on a stream, and people will toss money their way for pulling a crazy stunt. Let's go. Come over here. <clears throat> Clint says, I'll hold you that. I mean, you could hold me that as much as you want. There's no way we're raising $1,000 on tonight's stream. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. If we raise 1000 bucks. I'd be pretty happy, and I'll do it, but there's no way we're raising 1000 bucks. We have a couple llamas that are just completely, like, uh, loose here. More than likely, that's because, uh, yeah, more than likely, that's because they, uh, their, their owner drowned, I would guess. Oh, hello. Here he is. Okay, good. So here's what we're going to do. Let's get the cat over here. All right, now they're both sitting, at least, okay? Now, here's the thing, Papa Vera, that I saw you suggest, but I don't think I can do it. He suggested I put way more torches down. The thing is, I can't. I'm on a sand barge. He was like, oh, do a big, giant circle of torches around the mob grinder. I can't. I'm in water. So what I what I can do... All right. Okay. What I can do is I can put a bunch of, of uh, torches down. All right. To make sure that we're protected by just putting a ridiculous amount down and around here, you know. But there's no way that I could put the perimeter that you suggested just because of the landmass that we're on. We're not flat, you know what I mean? If I were flat, it'd be another thing, but we're not. I think we're okay here. Uh, oh, God, that's disgusting. So I think we're all right here, okay? Um... Sigmund Fruit chewed again. He said, if you get to tonight's goal, will you really give those tatas a nice pinch? You're a disgusting freak. Polish Frogs to me, Dollar said, can the top contributor name your vest? No, 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 no. If we're going to do, if someone's going to name the vest, all right, that's got to be a special event. That's got to be like we actually do a vest fest where we do a marathon of some sort 
the vest is involved as a reward, and the winner, the winner co or top contributor gets to name the vest. That would be like a special. We can't just do that on a random stream. That's too special. Naming the vest is way too special. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, we're here. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. I'm going to look it up. If you're able to get a tamed wolf and a cat, you can have them follow you here. Use the up elevator to get them up. Have them sit, and they will stay seated when they reach the top. Push them in and follow them up. You'll need a one-block gap at the front of the new killing platform you made last week. You'll also need to use a lead to coax them up onto the platform. Okay. Will this work is the question. I don't know. This is the up right here. the other way. Okay, I'm push from the other direction. Ready to go for a ride? Hope he's okay. We're about to find out. He's fine. Sit back down. <laughs> he's fine. He survived. Holy shit. He survived. That was pretty cool. I gotta admit, that was pretty cool, huh? He survived. Nice. Alright. That's good. Now. Can, I don't know if we can push him up here. No. See? I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't think we can push him up the stair. We gotta find a way to get him up into that area. I don't know how to push him up a whole stair. Let's let's get the wolf up here too before we fuck with this, okay? And by the way, what, I, what Papa Ver said I should do: surround the entire platform here with torches. Just make sure that nothing can spawn here, because that would suck if all of a sudden enemies fucking spawn up here and start attacking us. You know that would really blow. So yeah, let's get torches everywhere, right? I agree there. <clears throat> Open up the front a little more. I'll need the lead. Uh, don't push them off the edge. Okay. Um, well, liquor wholesome to be a dollar. I didn't know you still streamed. I came from a Jackson A. Tucker stream. Never heard of them. To give you a shout out, am I giving him a shout out? Sure. Shout out to Jackson A. Tucker. Thank you for the dollar tip. Uh, wholesome liquor or li liquor wholesome. Sorry, I got your name backwards. All right. Uh, Sigmund Fruit should again. He said, what tip goal would we need to reach for you to do a truffle shuffle for the chat? I'm not doing that. You're a sick freak. Papa Verich here. He said, open the front a little more. And yeah, you need the lead. Okay. So the lead. Okay. Now, if I get one more of these blocks off, right? That is not working. Look. All that's happening is the lead is stretching, but he's not coming up here. How does this work exactly? I don't understand this. Stand him up. That didn't work. Okay, hold on. Nice. All right. Well, step one complete. Very nice. This is good. This is cool stuff. Jasper Vest just hit me a dollar now. Jasper Vest. Thank you, Jasper Vest, for a dollar tip. 
We're up to fifteen dollars of tips tonight, everybody. <clears throat> okay, now we got to go name our wolf goofball. Let's do that. This is good progress. I agree, Akim Toto. <laughs> If you remember, Akim Toto was the person who actually suggested the mob grinder many, many weeks ago. He was the top contributor, and he said, you know, can we do a mob grinder? So this is all working, you know, on his suggestion. Pretty crazy. <clears throat> oh, shit! Ah, fuck. Damn it, man. That hurt my armor bad. It did. Look at that. Fuck, I forgot about that. I completely forgot. All right. Anyway, fucking shit. All right. He's been named Goofball. <clears throat> All right. It's your turn now, Goofball. He's much bigger than the cat. No! He's dead. I can't save him. I couldn't save him. Oh. <sighs> This is so fucking dangerous. Everything in Minecraft is dangerous as fuck. Everything in this game is dangerous as fuck. Nothing is safe. Nothing is fun. Everything is a fucking death trap. Seriously. I had this closed. Thinking if the trap door is closed, he'll just get pushed around it. No. He gets clipped through it into a fucking lava block and dies. <sighs> so now I can't finish what I was doing this week. I can't. You know, I can't finish it. Um What I can do, I can put the stone walls up. I guess I'll put the stone walls up here. And then we got I guess we gotta go try to get another wolf. Remember, there was more than one wolf, but they probably despawned by now. I don't know if anyone saved the coordinates of where those wolves were, but more than likely they're out of here by now. I would think they're not there anymore. <sighs> I'm very upset right now. I'm very upset. I'm like speechless. I know I have contributions to give shout outs for, but I'm very upset. I'm an animal lover, and I'm very, very fucking upset. I know it wasn't a real animal, but still. I'm ang I'm very, very pissed that that happened. I'm tired of this game being such a fucking everything is a death trap in this fucking game. Like, literally. 
I'm trying to do everything safe. I'm trying to do everything right. I close the trap door to try to protect the fucking animal. And the fucking thing sucks it in like a black hole and kills him anyway. Like... I'm not happy at all. I'm very, very upset. <clears throat> okay. Um, same with Freud. Thanks for the cheer. You're still a disgusting freak. Ninstar ruined it a hundred bit cheers. If you go to the nether and get soul sand put on top of the magma, it won't do that. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I, I don't know understand the property, so... Uh, King Michael cheered, or no, he did a dollar tip. He says, what did you have for dinner tonight? Was it good? It was cat's uh, Cajun chicken pasta. It was very good. I love her Cajun chicken pasta. Usually I overeat when she makes it. I had a plate and a half because I like it so much. So, <laughs> uh, I killed Phil to the dollar 33. He said, rest in peace, goofball, 1998. He was like a father to me. Yeah, that was short-lived. We named him and he immediately died. <laughs> he immediately died. I mean, I'm well aware... That a lot of people tune into my Minecraft streams to see stuff like that. Like, that was an epic fail, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but that one actually is sad for me. Like, that actually makes me fucking sad. Because that's a that's an animal, you know. Golden Noble Street said, I got, I got a gorilla for sale. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means. Thank you for the cheer. Big Papa Phil uh, has tipped me $12. He says, fans are in agreement. The return of the vest has been one of the biggest positive reveals since Jasper... In honor of the vest, I would like a statue built of your torso, arms, and head wearing the vest. Nothing too crazy, but recognizable as you. So that is Big Papa Phil. He tipped $12. Okay, let me get him up on the leaderboard here. <clears throat> and, so if he remains the top contributor of the night, which we don't know if he's going to. We still have a good, a good uh, 45 minutes of stream left. But if he remains the top contributor of the night that means we'll be making a statue of my arms and torso with the vest on there you go all right <clears throat> no i've never had zatarain's cajun chicken pasta polish froth okay the good news is the cat's alive jesus um so before I have to try to... Oh, fuck. I just misclicked. Before I have to try to go get a wolf again, since I now killed this one... Yeah, I guess I should put torches. Should I put... Papa Vera, should I put... I should not put torches up here, should I? Because if I put torches up here, isn't this going to... I don't know how, how the mobs spawn, right? So... Uh, Protusum Zone says, What are my thoughts on the passing of Max von Sydow? He was a great actor. He's been in a lot of stuff over the years. It's funny because, like, Max von Sydow, that name's familiar. And then you start, like, looking on social media and they're listing all his roles. You're like... Dude, he's been in so much shit. He's been in so many great works, great movies, great TV series, everything. You're like, oh my God, dude. And I mean, the good news is he lived a full and healthy life and he had a great, great acting career. And he's well, well respected and regarded as, as a person. And, you know, rest in peace to Max von Sydow, a great actor and a loss. Quite frankly, a loss for all of us. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Middle of the floor, too? Okay. Like that. Hopefully that's enough to keep, them, keep the, the creepy crawlies away. I would hope so. Okay. <sighs> All right. So I think we're well protected now. We got walls up. We've got torches. The cat's fine. In reality, the only other thing that Papa Vera wanted me to do 
was position the cat and the dog in a certain way. But now that the dog is dead... <laughs> uh... I guess we gotta find another wolf somewhere, right? Now Sigmund Fru cheered and said, If you were a 6'4", young, muscly, would you be a wrestler? What type would you be? Thanks for the cheer. I'm not even answering. It's just uh, the dumbest stuff this guy says. <clears throat> okay. Papa Bear says, negative 740, negative 900 is about where I found the wolves, but I need the bones, and he's right. He's absolutely right. I need to find bones, so I gotta go back to the village. What the fuck? Whoa! What are they doing here? Eat that fuckhead. Burn, baby, burn. How many times have they hit? What? He's still alive. Finally dead. Holy Christ. At least I killed him. Thank God I got this fucking flint. What an asshole. Why were they coming after me? Like, I'm not even in a village. I'm seriously not even in a village. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever. Ridiculous. Alright. So I think we're good. Um... Oh, hold on. Timbo Slice Cheer, he says, Philly, how long do you think until Minecraft gets a co coronavirus DLC pack? That's that's not even funny. Um, but it's ne I hope never. Chipe to me, thoughts and my condolences. Thank you. I'm, I'm very sad about what happened. I seriously am. That pisses me off. All right, so here's what we got to do. We're going to go back to the village. All right. <clears throat> We're going to get bones. All right. We're going to try to get to that position again and look for the wolves again. If it's still raining, I might do a little bit of fishing here. Only because you guys know I enjoy fishing in the game. It's very relaxing. And I usually gain a ton of experience when I do it. So we may do a little bit of fishing before we leave and look for the wolves again. And that's going to basically be the stream. It's going to be fishing and looking for the wolves. Okay, guys? Oh, excuse me. So let's go back to the town for now. <clears throat> If I end up seeing more wolves along the way, perfect. But I don't have any bones to tame them with. At least I'll know where they are. Okay. Ow. Why well, I take damage? Pfft. Took damage for no reason. <clears throat> okay. I gotta look out for these big holes here. So, top contributor right now is Big Papa Phil, $12 tip. And he says that if he's the top contributor at the end of the night, he wants to see a statue of my torso built with the vest on. All right. But we still have time for someone else to beat him out. I've also said that... It, oh, fuck. Look at this. I've also said that if we hit the tips goal for tonight, I'll put the vest on. However, we're only at $30 in tips. And, uh, you know, we're not even close. So, it's not looking too likely for that right now, sadly. <clears throat> I also said if we double the tip score, I'd put the cowboy hat on too, but I don't think that's happening either. Timbo Slice Cheese said, You're right! Shove it up, boy. I scoop it up, fucker. Fucker, you. Fucker, you. Fucker, you. Well, now I got bones. I gotta go to sleep, I guess. 
Okay. <sighs> okay. You've got to be kidding. Look what's in the town. Look what's in the town right now. He died from the fire that quickly? The other one took five million hits. This guy died like instantly from the fire. Figure that one out. Uh, I'm very confused how that works so easily, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. I don't know why it took so many hits on the one, and then this guy killed the with two hits. That's weird. All right. Oh, let's see here. So. Demo Slice Cherry said, you're right, not cool. What about the 4K ad on Wii? We're promised three years ago. I want that 4K. Gr oh, he's talking about for Minecraft. It was supposed to be a 4K add on and they canceled it. That's right. Thank you for the cheer. Mature adult cheer. He said, Any tips for a friend whose engagement is on the rocks? No. Need to start wounded 100 bit cheer. He said, Honestly, you can remove that magma block, make the down elevator a singular shaft, leave a pool of water at the bottom to break your fall. Saves your your health and faster than descending in water. <clears throat> oh, see, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll redesign it someday. I don't know. Papa Vera cheer. He said, Next time, break the magma block. By pushing the animals past it and then replace it before you go up. Better yet, surround the trap doors with blocks. I see what you're saying. Okay. Um. Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, do you see what I see? Are you kidding me? So first of all, a dolphin playing golf took me $1.99 and says, Do you think YouTube is redeemable as a platform? Yes. But it would mean completely having a change of management and a change of philosophy. They would have to become a serious business. Which they're not. I'm sorry, they're not. They're a bunch of people who think they're smarter than everyone else. They don't have business mind. They don't take feedback from the, from the people who use the site on a daily basis. The whole thing, the whole management structure would have to be uprooted, kicked the fuck out, and get business-minded people in there to change it and make it become efficient, and then YouTube could be a good platform again. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to confirm, but I believe I just received an anonymous $170 tip. Okay, I'm gonna try to confirm this. I wanna make sure this is real. <laughs> Cause when I get something giant like that, obviously I wanna make sure it's real. All right, let me double, double check. I believe it is real. Holy shit, if that is real. Thank you very much to whoever that was. If it is real, let's find out. I'm gonna confirm. It's real. Well, I'm a man of my word, so hold on a second here, everybody. I told you I'm a man of my word. What did I say I was going to do? <clears throat> All right. First the best. And then... Where is it? Jasper knocked the cowboy hat down. <laughs> yeah, look, there's cat hair. Oh, God. There's cat hair all over my cowboy hat. Jasper must have been in, it was in the closet, and he must have knocked it down. And it is covered in hair. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, is it covered in hair. Fuck. He must have been rubbing against it. He must have loved the feeling because it has a felt, felt feeling to it. He probably loved it, and he rubbed all over it. God damn. Well, alrighty then. Good lord. Alright. 
So, I said I would do it. I did it, God damn it. We doubled the tip's goal for the night. Thank you for that $170 tip, anonymous tipper, whoever you may be. Let me get you up on the leaderboard here. So, tips total. Holy crap. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I gotta put my headphones on somehow, too. I'm gonna have to try to put them on under the hat. I don't know how that's gonna work. But, um, yeah. Thank you for whoever that was. They said, stick with the vest statue idea. I just wanted to support you tonight. Well, thank you very much to whoever this is. I appreciate that very, very much. $170 is a ginormous contribution. Thank you very much. That will help tomorrow in particular for my day out. So thank you for that. Um, now... I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've never worn headphones with the cowboy hat before. I guess what I could do is kind of like maybe wear them upside down. I don't know how this is going to work, though. They don't really fit on my head this way. Because if I go this way, right, now I can't put the hat on. Because watch. Doesn't work. So, uh... Can I do this? Like, <laughs> uh, kind of? Like, if I do it like this, I can kind of hear, but not really, because the headphones aren't on well. Yeah, they're heavy, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to hear. Or I could just play with no audio. I guess I could play with no audio, right? But then I'm not going to be able to hear any. I guess what I could do here. I turn the headphone volume up all the way. So it's like real loud. And maybe now if I leave it here on my lap, I can hear. I guess that's the closest I can do, huh? <clears throat> Popsicolo says, the hat, headphones, and vest combo makes you look like you're made in a character creator in a game. <laughs> yes. What do you mean? You don't normally see guys walking around with cowboy hats and vests on like this all the time? You don't see this combination? No? <laughs> Shopping Curse is going to have a good old Oklahoma barbecue sauce, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Paint that barbecue on, baby. Man, you know what? Now I want barbecue. Now I want to get barbecue for dinner tomorrow. I'm going to just go to Famous Dave's. Get a nice, nice cheap barbecue ribs or something. Oh, man. Anyway. um, So, Christopher Columbus did 100-bit cheers. There's a funny error in the latest PewDiePie video if you turn captions on. Well, who cares? We don't watch PewDiePie videos around here, but thanks for the cheer. Timbo Slice Cheers. It brings me back to cinematic mode. 40% of the time, it works every time. Headphones are on my neck. I won't be able to hear them. Like, here. Like this. I'm not going to be able to hear. I hear nothing right now. Like, even with the max volume, I can't really hear anything. I hear very little. So. All right. Um, Here we go, guys. I guess I can kind of hear a little bit. Yeah, I can kind of hear this way. All right. By the way, I did say... Guys, first of all, I am streaming for about another 25 minutes. I did say... If we hit $1,000 in tips tonight, I would hop on one foot and sing Kumbaya. I did say that. I had no... I, not that I'm expecting it, but I had no idea that someone would actually tip that much and, and, you know, to wear the vest and the cowboy hat. So, holy shit, I might as well just throw that out there, too. I did say that. Okay. Now let's continue. So what was... Papa Vera, what was that coordinate again? Did you say it was like 700... And, no, negative 700 and negative 900? Or something like that. <clears throat> I have one bone. I should get a couple more. Am I just for war for Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde Redemption run? What? Negative 740, negative 900. Okay. Negative 740, negative 900. What am I doing? I'm putting away the raw fish. I don't need them anymore. I need more bones. Just in case, you know, the first one doesn't work. I'll take, like, five bones. I can get rid of this Illager banner. And I'll have, like, a hundred of them. Uh, the trap doors. I don't know why I made the trap doors. Because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. But I have them made. But considering now I don't have the dog, I guess I don't need the trap doors right now. So I'll put those away. <clears throat> I'll put them here. I know a ridiculous amount of trap doors. I can also put away the eggs. And I don't need the cobblestone or the cobblestone wall at this point either. I can get rid of all of this stuff. 
You know what's really interesting? I never game without headphones on. I've never, like, I'm hearing now my voice and I'm hearing the, the game audio. This is weird. I never hear my own voice like this. Only when I'm doing vlogging do I hear it like this. I almost never hear my voice outside of noise cancellation, so. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I think we're good. Um, We'll head out. Let me get my sword out just in case I need it. We don't need this out in inventory right now. We'll get rid of that. We don't need the boat right now. We don't need the torch. Let's put away the things we don't need, okay? Also, there's I do not need 48 arrows. Wait a minute. Why is that there? Yeah, we don't need iron ingots. I'll put away a bunch of my arrows. There we go, just so I have them stored, okay? And combine these two. Okay, um... We gotta go look, so negative 700, negative 900. <clears throat> We're in search of another wolf. So it's gonna be the other direction. Timbo Slice Series of Breaking News. Phil is official in Cyberpunk 2077 as a futuristic cowboy. There you go, here I am. Unknown name to me a dollar and said, why not wear a hat and a vest from the start of a stream? If you're happy, then we're happy to see you feeling good. I think most of us who contribute would be more inclined to do so if you did this stuff for free out of the gate. Because it's something silly, and it's something funny, and it's something to motivate. If I, it's like I told you guys, all right? If I always wore a cowboy hat, and if I always <clears throat> wore a vest, I did silly stuff like this all the time, then it's not special anymore. Then that's just common, right? This is something different. I haven't worn the vest in a while, right? I've never worn the cowboy hat while playing games. That's true. I've never worn this cowboy hat while playing video games, ever. It's only been for Ask the King. So, by doing it this way, it's something special. It's something different. It makes it feel like it's a meaningful stream because I did something out of the ordinary as a way of saying thank you for a very generous contribution, right? That's why. If I did this all the time, then what's the point? Right? That's why, guys. So, there you go. I understand what you're saying, but again, I don't want it to become commonplace. So... Is Ask the King returning? It is not this month. I have decided against doing it this month because it's going to be so busy with new releases in the next couple of weeks. I don't want to take a day away from the new releases to do Ask the King. I'm going to do it at the end of April, okay? <clears throat> okay. No, no one never named the cowboy hat Polish Frog. We never had any kind of a, a competition to name the cowboy hat. That never happened. All right, so we got to go this way to hit the negative 900. Okay. Yes, thank you everyone for hanging out with me in Minecraft tonight. Thanks for everyone who contributed, obviously. Whoever that anonymous tipper was, thank you so much. That will help tremendously, especially tomorrow. So thank you, thank you, thank you all around, everybody. I appreciate it. Okay. So negative 900 is a long way this way. Papa Veritary said, don't look now, but there's another chicken egg in your inventory. There's always a chicken egg in my inventory. <laughs> Okay. So there's the mob grinder. I remember to get to the stupid wolf area, there's a fucking mountain I have to go over. It's very annoying. Maybe I can get around it instead of over it. Okay. Oh, man. That's right. With, with this $170 tip, maybe I can go buy a single roll of toilet paper tomorrow, considering how things are going right now. <laughs> <laughs> what game am I most excited for this month? Doom Eternal. 100% Doom Eternal. I mean, Neo 2, I like it. I'm not in love with it. Maybe some of the additions and the new things will make it more interesting than Neo 1. But it's going to be good, but I'm not, like, blown away by it. Um, Animal Crossing, I don't know. Maybe I'll absolutely love it. I don't know. I've never played Animal Crossing before. I can't say. I can't attest to that. But... Doom Eternal, I mean, it's been a while. I've been waiting for another Doom game. Finally, I, I just finished Doom 2. Just hype, a way to hype up Doom Eternal and get into that first-person shooter mentality. And now we're going to have it finally coming out, so I'm excited for that. No, I am not way off course. It's negative 700, negative 900. I am on course. I don't know why I'm not in a boat right now, but I am on course. Pops goes is you can fish in Animal Crossing. That's it. It's the best game of the year. That's a uh, you know ten out of ten. 
PW Dubs to me, dollar thirty says you, he says last week he said you had to work on your taxes after stream. Were you able to complete them? Yes, I was. I was able to get all my tax information together and send it to my tax guy. Um, and he actually acknowledged receipt this morning, and and now he's beginning work on the taxes. So. <clears throat> So there you go. That's right. You can make your own character in Neo 2. I don't know if you can actually play as the guy from Neo 1, but I am aware you can make your own character in Neo 2 because I played the beta, remember? It was a long time ago, too. The beta was a while ago. Surprising the beta was so long ago. And now the game's coming out. Excuse me, it's disgusting. Okay. There we go. We're heading in the right direction now. There's a spider drowning. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to go across another fucking river thing. Oh my god, this is annoying. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Probaverse, I don't know if you know this. Eggs can be used as throwing weapons. Um... Like snowballs, they don't cause damage. They have a long range like an arrow. They'll knock back the target. Huh. Okay. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost to where the wolf should be. Or the wolves. Remember, there was like two or three of them in that area. Don't ask me if they're still there. Right, we'll have to find out ourselves. The good news is I avoided having to climb. Ow! Well, stubbed my toe, but okay. <clears throat> this way. Huh. I can totally, that's not funny. I'm not even going to repeat that. Alfred Aponte to me $2.35 is sending uh, some for tomorrow. Take care. Hope you and Cat are good. Thank you very much, Alfred. I always appreciate the support, man. It's always good to see you as well. Thank you, man. <clears throat> so it should be this way. I see sheep. I see horse. I do not see wolf. I do not see a wolf anywhere. Wolves are in the forest type biome. That's right. They should be around here. You'd think they'd be around here somewhere. Let's walk around for a little bit. I'm almost out of time to stream. Probably about another 10-15 minutes tops, guys. FYI. So right now, the top contributor is Anonymous Tipper. $170 tip. And they said that they wish that I still work on the statue of my torso with a vest on. So there you go. See, chicken egg. And there's the chicken itself. I don't see any wolves. I don't think I'm going to have any luck here. This stinks. Because now the mob grinder is going to be put on hiatus until we finally run into a wolf that I can tame and bring back to it, you know? This really stinks. I can't believe the wolf died accidentally. That sucks. No, I cannot stay around late tonight. Cat is home tonight, and we actually want to spend some time together for a change. She, you know, she was working all weekend long, and finally she's home tonight, and we want to spend some relaxing time together tonight. We have to plan out our week of meals and do various things around the house. So, uh, is that a wolf? That's a wolf. We got a wolf. This is good. This is good. Hello. We did it. We did it. All right. So now, we got to get this wolf to the mob grinder. Could be easier said than done. But we're going to try to do it. Okay. Papa Bear cheered. He said, yay. Yeah, I know. That was luck that we found another wolf right away. Hopefully he's following me. He's coming. Thank God I brought the, the bones. Um, we got to get around all these effing trees. Coming. All right, it's coming. This is good. <clears throat> this is good. But we got to move. 
because we want to make sure to get them back there before uh, nighttime and, and the monsters start coming out. Yes, Bubba Vera Chase, Goofball 2. I guess so. I guess we can call him Goofball 2 if we want, right? What sucks is he's going to have to follow me up a mountain. He's coming. He's right behind me. He teleports, doesn't he? I think the, 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 uh, they teleport. So as soon as I get over this mountain range or whatever... So, let's see here. And now I'm sure that 100 bit cheer. Thank you very much. And Phil's vest and hat just tip me $3 and says, will you give us a vest emo? Um, people seem to like the vest. Perhaps I will give you a vest emo. We have to find someone to make it, but perhaps I will give you a vest emo. All right, what I'm going to do... Fuck. We need to go th up this way. I'm going to try to get uh, up the mountain. I know the wolf's going to teleport, so it doesn't matter if I go high up or whatever. Oh! Broke my leg. I just need to get to it. I know he's going to teleport to me. Yeah, see, oh my god, he teleported to me. Did you see that shit? He flew. Like magic. Oh shit. Okay, that was close. That was almost very bad. I almost took a tumble. First of all, I gotta eat. No, I'm not setting up a quarantine zone in my house if, if Cat or Jasper get the coronavirus. If they do, guess what? I'm probably getting it too. Nothing you can do about it. So happens when you live with someone. It's inevitability, okay? All right, continuing on. Holy shit! Are you kidding me? I just received a $96 tip from somebody else, anonymous tipper, and they said, have a good day off and a good night. Thank you to whoever the hell that was. So now that's another three. So it was two oh, uh, it was, it's, we're at $303 in tips tonight, guys. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much to whoever these people are tipping anonymously. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the help, man. Thank you so much. Okay. Mr. Bravo Vera Cheer, he says you can heal damage like fall damage by, to wolves by feeding them any kind of meat, even rotten flesh. Ew. Alright, so I'm heading towards the right direction. Well, I'm running out of time for tonight's stream. I'd like to get him to the mob grinder, and that could be the conclusion of tonight's stream. He's gonna keep teleporting to me. Yes, he is. He's good. Okay, let's keep moving. You know what? He'll stay with me if I sleep. He'll stay with me. Anonymous Cheer just did 100 bit cheer. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Okay. Keep moving. Mob Grinder should be straight ahead to the north of this lake. That's straight ahead here. We just got to keep moving. Frog and Cheer, said, do you keep a surplus of emergency food in your house? Do you only get enough groceries to last you for the next week? Having extra food around would be invaluable. Here's the thing. We do have some extra food. Usually some frozen meals or things we can make easily out of the freezer. Or, you know, have a, a can of soup. You know, mixes of various food. Like we have a pancake mix. If we were going to make pancakes in the morning or whatever. So we do have various things that we could make. Cereal and stuff, you know. There are things we have, so if we weren't able to shop on a normal basis, like, we could probably just last a whole week extra. But, no, we don't stockpile an insane amount of food. We don't have space for it, and, you know, we don't have a giant freezer either. You know what I mean? Like, all right, how are we going to... What's he doing? Look at his face. What the fuck? Uh... What the fuck is going on with his dog? All right, that's not natural. There's something wrong here. We're going to have to go around. <laughs> is Famous Dave's just a Washington thing? No, Famous Dave's is a chain. Famous Dave's is a chain. Now, there were none where I lived in the East Coast, but um, 
Kat said that she had known about it and had seen it before. Um, they're, so they're definitely not only like Washington or West Coast. Famous Dave's, ha it's a chain that has other things. You have to look them up. Famous Dave's, you know, look on the website and they probably tell you their locations. <clears throat> I'm going on land only because I'm afraid that if I go in a boat, it might screw with the wolf and he might not come with me. Going on land, he's following me 100%. So I'm just going to go on land. It's right over there. I see it. And that's going to adjourn tonight's stream. Miranda Lawson, just read $1.30. So I have gossip on the Dr. Quinn reboot. Let's gossip after the stream. Let's not. I really don't care about a Dr. Quinn. A Dr. Quinn reboot. What the fuck? <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, come on. Look at this. Are you serious? Another one of these fucking things? I'm going to go around if I can. I can't. Fucking shit. Oh, my God. For real? Well. Cowabunga, dudes! Ooh! All right. Let's climb, shall we? We're getting there. The wolf's got to be with me, right? Right? Oh, fuck. Oh, there he is. He teleported. Look at his face. Oh, 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 oh. His, oh, my God. That wolf is fucked up, dude. This wolf is having a seizure or something. I don't know what's going on with him. Spawn Killer tipped me a dollar. He said, would you consider having a wolf as a pet and having it in your base? Um, This wolf is going to be with the mob grinder permanently. But I have nothing against having a wolf as a pet in the game. That could be pretty cool. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Here we go. Sadly, I cannot name this one Goofball because I don't have a name tag with me. I only had the one name tag, but I will, I swear to you guys, I will get another name tag. I will name it Goofball 2, okay? He's here. All right, sit him down. I He better not fucking clip into this again. I swear to God, if he fucking clips in here. Mr. Obul1, to me, uh, cheered and says, do I have advice for crippling depression? Yeah, seek professional help. I, and don't talk to a streamer about it. Probably a bad idea. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> it's wet from the rain. Okay. Good lord. No, what happened? He didn't make it. What? He didn't make it. He went up and came back out? What? Straight vest homie. You just hit me a dollar. Thank you, straight vest homie, for the dollar tip. I have to follow him? Oh, because he's going to teleport to me. That's right. He'll teleport to me if I don't follow him. All right, this is cool. Look, you're following him. Wee! <laughs> this is cool. Ninja Star Rune did a 100-bit cheer because he teleported back to you. Right. Okay. This is cool. Woohoo! Yeah! We made it. All right, let's get him up there where he's supposed to be. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. He did it. He made it. Okay. This, this dog is glitched to shit. Alright, I'm gonna stop being glitched at least. So... Where was I supposed to put him? Uh, Mr. Oboe cheered again. He says, 
If you had a chance to play Minecraft again in its alpha stages during 2009, would you do it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know. Um, I don't know the difference. I don't know if there would be a reason to. I don't know. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead. I just want to see what Papa Vera had said about positioning these animals and see if I could do that. And that'll be the end of the stream for tonight, honestly. Already said, when you have the pets on the mob killing platform, this is where they should be sit at the back. It's against the back and spaced a block apart from each other and not all the way against the corner. Mobs will not attack them and the grinder will be more effective with them there. Okay. So... Right there. Yeah. Actually, no. It should be one more over, I think. He won't move. I mean, I guess that's the best I'm going to do. Now he's stuck in the corner. How do I get him out of the corner? What if I do this? Hold on. Will you follow me? Here you go. Oh, perfect. No, come back. Oh, no. Okay. Sit down. Okay, good. Push him over here. Right there. That's perfect. Not in the corner block. But one over. See that? I think that's good. Okay. And then the dog it needs to be maybe one more over. But I can't... Okay, hold on. I think we're good. There we go. Not in the corner block, one over. Not in the corner block, one over. I mean, I can push a tiny bit, I guess. There. I think I did it. I think that's good, right? Right? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we salvaged it. Thank you, everyone who was very, very supportive tonight. Thanks to everyone who hung out with me and everyone who put up for I put up with all that nonsense, but we got it. We, we not only got all the resources for the Yoshi statue, which we're going to begin work on next week. We're going to start building it. Maybe we'll even finish it in one go. That would be pretty good. But we got a major progress here with the mob grinder. Very nice. And <clears throat> we're going to start researching the next project, which is going to be very something very small, Greco-Roman, some kind of a little bit of a, a, a architecture that we're going to build. And thank you to this very generous tipper tonight. We're going to be working eventually on a, a torso statue of me in a vest, which is pretty funny. Okay? So let me go ahead and save. You know, it's a shame we didn't hit that $1,000, so I would hop on one, one foot and sing Kumbaya. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> thank you guys so much for the support tonight. Super awesome. All right. Um, let's save up here. Um, yeah, I mean, Papa Vera, for real. That's what this guy wanted. This top tipper wants to eventually do a torso statue of me in a vest. That could be interesting. Doesn't have to be great, by the way. Um, all right. So that is it for this week, guys. Thank you very much for a great week. Keep in mind, you know, I play this once a week. I'll be playing this again next uh, Monday night. And then we'll start working on the egg statue. Okay, guys? Very nice. Thank you very much.